Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy, otherwise known as Simmy, and um, I'm back. Might be a little bit of a weird thing to say if this is your first time here, as currently there are no videos on this channel, but <laughs> I was here before. I basically just wanted a fresh start when I came back, um, and that's why I deleted everything and I'm starting over from scratch. I wasn't initially sure what to do for my first video back, but then, you know, Cottage Living got announced and I may have cried when I first saw the trailer. I've just been really excited for it and I thought, well, you know what, what better way to come back than with probably the pack that I've been the most excited about ever. You know, it's set in a small English village in the countryside and that's very reminiscent of where I grew up. I thought it would be nice to get into it collect a bunch of animals, do some gardening, settle into the village life of Henford on Bagley with my sim here, Hope Fields. Let's go around and see what she looks like. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna, you know, start on this screen, but she's sort of like staring into your soul. I thought that might be a bit weird. So um, this is Hope Fields. She, oh, we're doing a Rags to Riches. Did I mention that already? Probably not. Um, so this is a Rags to Riches. She's got this big old empty lot, absolutely no money. And I'm not gonna be playing with like, strict rags to riches rules of like you know having to get a certain level handiness before you can build a house or find a partner or anything like that i kind of just want to you know just play the game really i know that sounds <laughs> stupid to say i mean like what else would i be doing but i wanted the restrictions of no money <laughs> i've also got the simple living lot trait on um so you know that's going to be an extra thing to contend with as well oh not lot traits sorry lot challenge i don't have any others i took off off the grid and wild foxes because i don't want to deal with that um i'm going to try and not like sell things via the inventory and you know sell everything either with a selling table or to the market or on plopsy or any of that um and i'll probably just play until she she dies <laughs> pretty much um bit morbid but you know i don't see her getting a partner or having kids or anything i'm not going to worry about you know hitting certain goals we're just going to play the game and that's what i plan on doing so let's get started so first off you know she's got no money and it's literally first thing in the morning so i don't think any plants or anything will have spawned in. I think what the first thing I'm going to do is take her into the village square. We'll take her there, see if we can find any. I want to see about these like village errands. Um, well, let's just go to like the gnomes arms or whatever it was called, the pub. Is there anyone around yet or should I just wait a second? I might have to wait a second. Oh, it would help if I unpaused it, wouldn't it? Oh, there's somebody here. Let's go talk to the pub owner, Sarah, Sarah Scott, sorry, not Sarah. It's a bit early for the pub to be open, to be honest. Eight in the morning, but you know, who am I to judge? Oh, off the hell with errands. Let's see if Sarah wants any errands doing. Okie dokie. So, we've got three things. We can pick all three. Should we just take them all? We could just take them all. We'll, we'll, we'll finish them, right? So, um, we can we can get more when we're done. So we've got, I could really go for a mushroom snack right now. They're nature's gift to my highly refined palate and I wouldn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth now, would I? Uh, what? <laughs> Not sure what you're saying, but okay. Uh, please bring me some mushrooms. If we want to put a pub on the map, we've got to highlight the local flavours of Hemford on Bagley and give them all something they've never drank before. I've got some ideas brewing already, but I'll need some of the berries and mushrooms you'll find out in the bramble wood. And I'm supposed to go meet up with someone who has a package for me, but for the life of me, I can't remember who it is. Can you ask around until you find whoever has my package and then bring it back to me? Okay, <laughs> sure. So what we got to do, deliver lovely and spicy mushrooms, blueberry, raspberry and chocolate berry... Um, order and drink a Bagley Berry Fizz sampler um, and then get the, the village package from someone. Well, I assume it's going to be one of the um, official townies, the ones with like the red names. Are you anyone? No, or maybe it's not. Can I ask you anything or do I just have to, I have to introduce myself? Let's introduce myself to you anyway. Okay, do you have the package? Or is there a way for me to check? Oh, ask a village package. There we go. So it could be anyone, it's not just the people with the red titles above their names. Nope, he doesn't have it. Fair enough. Um, who else is around? It's so dark today. Oh, who are you? Derek McMillan. Do you have what we need? Oh, he does! I assume you know who the package is for. So it is a bit strange that you would hand it to me when she's right there, but who am I to question? <laughs> Oh, okay, a cross stitch pattern. That's another thing that I want to do going into this, as I want to get into cross stitch and knitting. Because um, I never actually really did knitting when the pack came out. So is that one of them done now? 
Oh, it is. I got money for it. Well, that was quite easy. Um, so neither of you are official people. And the other things I've got to do for you are collecting things. Well, first of all, let's have a quick look around the world, see if anything spawns here. Um, I'm looking for, I keep forgetting what I'm looking for. Lovely and spicy mushrooms, blueberry, raspberry and chocoberry. I wonder if it tells me where we might find them. The mushrooms are from Bramblewood. Okay, so I'll, ha I'll keep having a quick look around here for the berries. Um, and then we might just go to Bramblewood because apparently that's where the mushrooms are. There might also be berries there, I don't know. Um, to be fair, this is the first time that I've played the pack for myself, but I have like watched the live stream that was a couple weeks ago and I've been watching some of the Game Changers videos, so you know, some things are somewhat familiar to me. Um, what am I doing here again? Oh yeah, mushrooms. Um, where is the Creature Keeper's house? That's supposed to be around here somewhere, I think. Oh, here. <laughs> Perfect. And there's the Creature Keeper. Let's introduce ourselves to him as well whilst we're waiting for things to spawn. Oh yeah, I never actually told you um, her traits. So obviously her aspirations, the country caretaker aspiration. And uh, yeah, her traits are loves outdoors, vegetarian and animal enthusiast. So she's kind of basic. Oh, and she's got some likes and dislikes as well. So she likes Americana music, but dislikes metal and S-pop. She likes cooking, gardening and baking, because I imagine we're doing a lot of all of those. And dislikes programming. She likes blue, she likes green, and she likes farmhouse decor, which I, I'm not really like familiar with decor styles, but I figured that would make sense for a farmer. <laughs> this world is really pretty, but it's so like dull and dimpsy today. Oh, and there's a little rabbit um, stump as well. I really want a rabbit. I was actually quite disappointed that you couldn't like just keep them in a little run and stuff, that you have to have them wild, but I think you can have them on your home lot. I'm not sure. Find that out in the future, I guess. Okay, um, while we're here, do you have any errands to give me? Can't take all of them, but I might as well see if there's just like one that I can do fairly quickly or something. Um, okay, you also want mushrooms and you want to keep an eye on the animals. I might take that one because hopefully I can kill two birds with one stone. Not literally, we are kind to the birds, <laughs> but I think that I, held, I already had one which involved talking to animals, right? Or maybe that was part of my aspiration. I don't remember. Either way, we can do this one. Can you outfox a fox? I'm not trying to be clever. I'm literally asking you to go watch the local fox population. Increased fox sightings have been reported across Hemford on Bagley and I want you to observe them and ensure they're still getting on just fine. I'm sure they are. But I can definitely do that. That will um, help my aspiration as well. If I can find any. <laughs> um, I wouldn't know where the fox is. I think foxes just appeared. Oh! <gasps> Bunny rabbit, oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I want to talk to you. Let's discuss rabbity things. I'm sorry, bye. I don't care about you anymore. I am just I just want to adopt all the rabbits. I d they're just so adorable. <laughs> I want a rabbit in real life, but I can't have one because I've got a dog. <laughs> and uh, that makes me nervous. But, oh, look at him. But I wonder how I can, like, befriend it. Do I just keep being its friend? Do I just keep socialising with it? <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> That's so adorable. Come back. I want to I wanna pet you. Oh, okay. That's okay. I'm sorry. I don't have any gifts to give it. What do you like? Okay. You you like gifts? Is, is that... Is that all you're going to tell me? Oh, you offered me a gift. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. It's information. Oh, it's an egg. <laughs> I thought I was just telling... Oh, wait. I've got berries where did i get those from oh my did i get that as part of the reward for the errand if so that's kind of funny because the chocolate berry and the raspberry actually she wants so i can just give them back to her um oh and i've got mushroom soup perfect i'll eat that later it's gonna be fine for a bit i don't have a fridge i didn't think about any of this actually and yeah now i've got a little egg as well I want to name you, but I'm really not very good at naming things. You know what? I I know what I'm going to name him. Let's just name him Egg. Because, you know, that's what he gave me. Oh, of course, it, they spoil. Right, I might well sell the egg then, because I'm not going to get a fridge within a day. So I think that selling that will be the best option. I don't think about things spoiling. I just want you to come to my house. <laughs> that's all I want. <laughs> I've befriended him. Hope has befriended a rabbit and can now purchase a wild rabbit home. Find it in build mode under outdoor activities. So if I purchase that, then will Egg come and stay with us? Pet Egg enthusiastically. Let's see if you'll accept this now. <gasps> oh, oh, oh 
Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I know that this isn't going to help me at all in um, getting Simoleons, but I really don't care. <laughs> right, are you a resident? Um, let's introduce ourselves to you. Bye, Egg. If anything happens to that rabbit, I am going to cry. Oh, we've got plants now. Okay, what are you? Wild raspberry. Um, well, we have raspberries. Could definitely do with more. Uh, root plant, view raspberry. Yeah, nothing's going to grow yet anyway. What's that? Blueberry. Oh, harvest. Let's harvest the blueberry because we need those and then we can actually go right back to Sarah. Uh, Sarah. I'm going to keep <laughs> making that mistake. We can go back to Sarah and um, do all of that and then get a bagly berry fizz sampler. All right, so we've got some blueberries now. So let's go back to the pub and find Sarah and uh, deliver all those berries. Let's deliver blueberry, raspberry and chocoberry. Oh, this will do nicely for what I have in mind. Come see me at the bar and I'll concoct a little something I'm calling a Bagley Berry Fizz that's bursting with berries. Well, let's grab that right now. It's, you know, half past one, but that's fine. It's never too early to start drinking. Probably bad advice, but who am I to say? <laughs> Order Bagley Berry Fizz. I've got to pay for it. I gave you the ingredients and you're charging me. What are you doing? That is one thing. By the way, has anyone else noticed about how freaking annoying it is that they just walk to the other end of the room to laugh at things at the decor and whatever uh jesus christ okay now what do you want me to do deliver a charming mushroom and a verdant mushroom to the pub owner order and drink a verdant and funk sampler um i also need to sell that egg because it's going to go out of date and can i also sell the upgrade part might be helpful i wonder if she just buys literally anything or if it's only like produce and stuff yeah, only produce, okay. So we can sell that egg to her, that's fine. I, I wonder if the other shop will take just random stuff. We'll have to see. Oh, I don't have any items. Okay, so you don't want to buy my kitchen upgrade part. That's fine, I won't take it personally. Um, for now, is there like a public toilet or anything? In Henford on Backley, because I don't have a toilet. Can I piss in the phone box? Is there, oh, is there a toilet in the pub? You know what? Yeah, yeah, there is. No, that's a kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> I need- <laughs> I'm having a hard time. There is a toilet. <laughs> it's fine. Right, and then I think that I'm gonna go back to Bramblewood, is it called? Um, because I, I never- I never finished looking for mushrooms. Also need to keep an eye out for foxes, because this does have the wild foxes trait, which my home lot does not. Um, where can I find mushrooms? Oh, there we go. Yeah, right, so okay, the mushrooms are here, but they don't seem to have grown yet. Um, I'm not sure if they only grow while I'm on the lot, or if they'll grow like overnight if I leave. But what else can I do when I'm here? Well, all of these need mushrooms, except the foxes. So perhaps I can just like dawdle around until a fox spawns? Because everything else needs mushrooms. I don't have, or alternatively, I could go and see if I can buy mushrooms. Okay, so that's just mushroom. That's not like, because I need certain types of mushroom. Lovely and spicy, charming and verdant. What can I buy from the garden shop? Just a normal mushroom. I'm not seeing any of the mushrooms that I need though. Oh, verdant mushroom. Could just buy that then. Is that the only one here? Um, I think, yeah, the only one that I need that's here is verdant mushroom. Well, okay, let's go home. I know I'm like bouncing around all over the place, but I'm just trying to figure out what to do because all I need is mushrooms and foxes. That's all I can do at the moment. There are no foxes on my home lot, so that's, I guess, ruling that one out. But I might be able to afford like a cross stitch basket or a knitting basket or something to do on the home lot that can make some more money while I wait. So let's buy, well, if we can, there we go. Beginner's yarn, super stash yarn. Oh, there's the crochet, uh, not crochet, sorry, cross stitch. So we can't afford that yet but we can just buy a yarn basket and we can put that in our inventory i think then we can probably go back to the pub again bouncing around a lot but you know just for the sake of keeping dry because it has been pissing it down all day um and then we can just like sit in the pub and then maybe some foxes will come by who knows let's just do a green bear beanie because i think green's hope's favorite color ah uh, no we and she's Howdy. done Okay, so this one, I should be able to list on Plopsy for a fiver. Didn't think about that, but that's fine. So there's 25 simoleons in total to make and sell. So um, I guess let's not 
accept anything less than 25. Hopefully we get some offers. I didn't see how good quality it was. Oh, normal. That's that's not bad. Do we... I mean, yeah, let's just make something else. Uh, let's knit another beanie. Uh, we can't, of course, because we spent that simoleon on alcohol. But yeah, I'm sort of a bit stuck for things to do now. Not because there's like, you know, not enough stuff to do, but just because I don't have enough simoleons to do anything. Maybe we should stay in Bramblewood and um, wait for some foxes to appear and the mushrooms to grow because I'm still not convinced that the mushrooms will grow while I'm not there, which makes me a little bit nervous. So if I stay in Bramblewood, find a bench to sleep on or something, then that will probably be the best way to go about this. Oh, we could search the snail, see what's going on in there. It's blowing glue. If I'm sorry, it's doing what now? It's glowing blue. <laughs> Fucking hell, okay. <laughs> Okay, she found something. Maybe she should hide something in exchange for someone else to find. Oh, okay, so it's like a geocaching thing. Oh, I found four black beans. What should I hide? I mean, I could hide the kitchen upgrade part. You know, it feels a bit shady, but maybe somebody will like it. Maybe, you know, the next person who searches it is going to be like a, a handy person. It's all I had. I didn't know that's what was happening. I've got some black beans now anyway, so that's okay. Let's find a bench. Oh, and now all of a sudden it's gone very, very bright. The hell happened? It was so dark and now it's so bright. Is there like some sort of lighting glitch in the new world? But it's been quite dark all day and then it gets to two in the morning and it lights up. It's a bit lighter now than it was yesterday. Oh, and there's mushrooms. You're strange. Do I need strange mushrooms? Lovely, spicy, charming and verdant. Okay, so it looks like some of the mushrooms are starting to spring up. Um, my sim needs to pee again. I don't know why I keep saying my sim, Hope, needs to pee again. I have to admit, I did think these um, errands to be a bit easier. Because I was I was really excited about them. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm still enjoying them. Because it, it is quite a realistic part. As somebody who grew up in a tiny village, like, much smaller than Henthor and Bagley is, that was a genuine part of life. Like, I remember every Christmas, like, I don't know, a week before Christmas, one of the old ladies who lived down the lane, she'd, like, wait for my school bus and she'd stop me and ask me to deliver her Christmas cards. And I used to uh, pet sit for my neighbours quite a lot as well. And just little things like that. I just think it's quite a cute, a cute little thing to include in this game. Because, yeah, when you live in a tiny little village, everyone does help each other out to a certain extent. Um, unless they absolutely hate each other, which also happens. And then they just make each other's lives a living hell. Do you think, will they have all the kinds of mushrooms in Bramblewood? Because it said about finding mushrooms in Bramblewood, but it wasn't clear. Oh, it's a little post box, that's cute. It wasn't clear if um, all of them are available and I just need to like, look harder, or if there's only a few available and I found them all kind of thing. Oh, that's something. Strange mushroom, strange mushroom. Okay, there's lots of strange mushrooms. I'm gonna pick them anyway. You know, I don't know why I'm like avoiding picking them because I can plant these things. Oh, okay, okay. So the mushrooms aren't labeled verdant mushrooms or whatever. They are labeled strange and then you pick them and it tells you what they are. That makes sense. Okay, with any luck, this next one will be a charming one. And then we can move on to like either the next part of the errand or a new errand because I am also conscious the Finchwick fairs happen every week and on Saturday is the chicken fair now I don't know that I'll be able to enter the chicken fair this time I might skip it regardless and just focus on the garden fair because I think it'll be a bit of a rush to get a decent chicken but that does mean that I need to start planting some things I need to buy some crop things and um, some like oversized vegetables um, and get them sorted oh hello what are you? <laughs> Look, I know we're going through a bit of a heat wave at the moment, but this is just taking the piss. Oh, spicy mushroom. So I've got one half of both of them. So I need lovely and I need charming. Oh, smother with love. Are you going to pick him up? Oh, you are. Oh, I can't. I can't come down to cut to see you because the fucking house is in the way. I'm coming. Sim. That's so adorable. Oh. At what point do I accept that I've probably dug up all the mushrooms I've got available and leave? Because <laughs> I don't want to give up because I've not made enough progress to actually do anything. I can't afford to knit anything. Well, at least until my current knitting sells. I need to get home and 
start planting things. I mean, I do have a fair amount to plant, but I want to buy some oversized crops. Um, or to be fair, I could sell a lot of this stuff, couldn't I? That is a good option as well. And then I could start knitting some more. That could be an option. Okay, what I might do then, let's go back to um, the village square. And then we can sell what we've just foraged. And then we can come back to Bramblewood, do some knitting and wait for some more mushrooms to spawn. And hopefully some wild foxes as well, because I haven't seen any of those yet. And um, then hopefully we can tick off some more errands. Let's save one of each thing, or even two of each thing, just in case we like need it. Oh, and the mushrooms we, we know we need, so we'll, we'll save the mushrooms and then we'll keep two of everything else. Okay, that's got us 45. I'll chat with Lavina, that's the um, mayor, where is she? I don't think we've actually met her yet. Because she'll give us a run down the road as well. Is she flirting with me? You know what? I'm just going to move on. Let's go back to Bramblewood. <laughs> and we're going to get on with some knitting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do about your hygiene. I don't think we're close enough with anybody to... Well, except Egg. <laughs> I'm not sure that Egg has a shower, though. <gasps> There's a fox. Oh, hurry up and finish. I'm gonna stalk the fox. Okay, just quickly whip that one onto Plopsy. Uh, list on Plopsy. I'm not sure where, where the fox is going, but I've got my eye on it. Watch Flare. Are you gonna stop or are you gonna keep running? Why are you running? He's on a fucking mission is what he is. Are you coming over to us or are we coming to you now? Yeah, okay, nice try. No, try again. It's over here. Can I not? Damn it. I'm, I'm not sure where it's going or why I can't interact. Okay, this is making me nervous because this is... <gasps> There's another one! Watch that one. Come, come... <gasps> You're here! She's doing it! It looks like a little bandit. Let's call it bandit. Bye bandit. Oh, it's a rabbit! I didn't... I couldn't see for a second. It's blending in with the ground. Hey rabbit, I want to talk to you as well. I'm actually going to call you Ghost because I didn't see you. I straight up did not see you. Oh, I hope that's not an omen. Ah, oh, shit. I may have just ruined your life. Let's take the gift. Oh, let's take the gift offered. Oh, a Daisy. Oh, that's cute. Or oh, maybe that's a better, a better name. Let's call you Ghost Daisy. Because, like, I, I, I'm imagining that you know maybe what they give me is what they want to be known as. Um, okay, where are these fucking mushrooms? I think I am just going to have to go and buy them because I really don't see anywhere else and I feel like I'm just going to search forever. So let's go to the town square um, and see what's up for sale. Um, so we're looking for a charming mushroom and lovely mushroom. So do you have any of that? No. Oh, I think it was Agnes's store that was selling those, wasn't it? Um, so it looks like there's no charming mushrooms. Any lovely mushrooms? No. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? I don't know what to do then. Um, I need to find another fox. And that seems to be all I can do again. Because <laughs> I can't find any freaking mushrooms. Let's go back to my home lot. Oops, I don't want to take a vacation. Go back to my home lot and see if any mushrooms are spawning there. I need to knit something else as well. Um, nobody's bought my stuff on Plopsy, which is concerning. I might have just wasted money with that. Okay, let's, let's sit down here and we can knit here. <gasps> fox, scrap what you're doing. Got to talk to the fox. Watch whiskey. I'm not sure why I'm seeing foxes because I did turn off. I'm pretty sure I turned off wild foxes. Yeah, so I'm not sure why I'm seeing foxes here. Apparently I watched him from all the way over here. I mean, I won't argue. I think what I'm going to do first is finish off the knitting. Um, so come sit down here and knit. Although that was greyed out. She doesn't want to knit. Oh, she's bored of it. Okay, that's fine. In that case, we'll go see the creature keeper now and give him the fox report. Give fox report. There we go. Okay, so that's the end of that one. So we can find another errand now. So we've got some beige llama wool, uh, some strawberries and plain mushrooms and a nifty sweater for a cow. Can we ask you to give us more errands? Offer help with errands. What other things did you have? Because I'm pretty sure we only um, picked up one of yours. So you should have another one. Oh, you want mushrooms well? But what kind is the issue? Okay, let's really just burn ourselves. Pick up more mushrooms. Choco berries and spicy mushrooms. Oh, I can do that. I think I've got both of those already. So I can just give those to you straight away. Oh, I need more choco berries. Can I not give you mushrooms then? 
Deliver three choco perries and eat mushroom mash. Oh, you don't need the spicy mushrooms. Okay. Um, but I can... I shouldn't have sold my choco berries. But um, I can get more right here, as it happens. Deliver three choco berries. There you go. Okay, so now you want six spicy mushrooms. I've got two. That's all I can do. I can't remember where I found them. So... Um... I guess it's back to the mushroom hunt. I mean, I should have seen this one coming. And then I think what we're going to have to do is... Um, I might well just go home um, and start planting some stuff. Because we've got a little bit of money now. Actually, you know, first we might go into the village square and sell some things. And go to the bathroom. And maybe eat. Um, and then we might just go home and, like, put down some plots and start planting some oversized crops. Because I am... I do want to enter the Fitzwick fairs. And chickens are this week. I don't think we've got time to deal with that. But the garden fairs next week. We could do the garden fair. And then we could focus on cows. Oh, wait a second. The garden fair is not the oversized crop fair. Garden competition, pie competition. Okay, so the garden fair is not for oversized crops. That's just for anything. So we can just plant what we've got currently then, I guess. And um, I guess we can bake a pie. We might be able to use the kitchen in the pub. Um, I guess other than that, I guess then we focus on cows, right? But that's still a couple of weeks away. Okay, right, let's get home. Um, I think first things first is we want to plant some things. I don't need to worry about oversized crops right now, but I'm just going to plant just the random stuff that I found out and about for the sake of the fair. I guess let's just plant stuff over here maybe, I don't know. Um, and we can just drag things out. So let's plant all of this and then let's water everything. And then hopefully one of these will be good enough to enter in the fair in a week and a half. And I just need to figure out how to make pies. I mean, I'm assuming I just need a higher cooking or baking skill. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure which to work on. I don't know why I'm getting foxes. I don't want foxes on my lot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. But I'm not really sure what else to do now other than just going back to Bramblewood to keep an eye out for mushrooms and knit. I'm not sure if there's a limit for how much I can put on Plopsy. I know one of the things, the first thing I put up, expires on Thursday. But yeah, no, nobody's bought anything yet. I shouldn't spend everything because... <laughs> This is a race. Let's just nap all night <laughs> and then come back tomorrow and see if the shop is selling any mushrooms. Charming mushroom conserve, that's not charming mushroom. <laughs> Can't remember what else we need. Spicy mushroom and lovely, I think. Neither of which are there. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. Okay, back to. Oh, actually, first let's go to the pub. Let's get some food and then we'll go back to Bramble Woods and try and find a couple more spicy mushrooms because that's the only one we've had any success with. I really don't know where to get the others. Right, back on the hunt for mushrooms. <laughs> Never ending. Okay, there's some strange mushrooms up here. I'm still trying to figure out if the strange mushrooms are the same in the same place or if they like are random and it just happens that I've been unlucky so far. Hopefully it's random because then that means I've got a chance of getting a variety. Oh, we found a charming mushroom. That's what we need. Okay, so we've got a charming mushroom and a verdant mushroom. Um, so we can actually go in. We can do that now. We can get that sorted. Um, and now we just need a lovely mushroom. We're finally making progress. It's taken literally forever. We're like three days in. We've got 60 simoleons and nothing. <laughs> so slow going. It's definitely going to be slow going. And what about the mushroom mash? What did you need? You needed more spicy mushrooms. How many spicy mushrooms have we got now? Five. Okay. I'm not sure that I can see anymore, so I think we're just going to go back to the, the pub owner and give her what we've collected and um, hopefully move on to a new errand. I'm not sure if there's any more parts to it or not. We'll have to see. Okay, let's give you deliver charming and verdant mushrooms. Right, let's now... I assume spend more money to um, order, but well, we've got to wait for her to go back to the bar first. Um, okay, we can now get Verdant and Funk Sampler, which again, she's charging us for, but that's fine. <laughs> Is that it? I mean, it would seem so. Oh, I have to choose one. Okay, interesting. Which do I prefer? I'll pick that one because um, it was a lot easier to find. <laughs> Wonderful choice. Between you and I, that was the option I hoped you'd pick. This new signature drink is sure to put our town's pub on the map. Awesome. That took way longer than it should have, but it's fine. Um, okay, so we've still got to give you a couple more mushrooms. That's for the creature keeper. Oh, the mayor's here. Let's see if the mayor needs any help with anything. 
Okay, so you need self-guided local tour, um, which will give us some berries, wool, and animal treats, which we're not, you know, desperate for. Or going to say hello to some of the villagers. Um, I think we'll do that one, because that will give us a meal. Um, to be honest, both of yours sound, you know, not too difficult. Oh, you've got a package one as well. Is it Sara, by any chance? Maybe it's like a pass-the-parcel type deal, like a village-wide pass-the-parcel with no music. Nope, okay. I guess that parcel actually was intended for her. Oh, Agnes has it. Again, she's right behind you. You could have just handed that to her yourself, but I'll deliver it. <laughs> okay, let's try and do your other one now as well, because your other one seemed quite easy as well. Just like introducing ourselves to people, like we've already done that, so... Okay, you'll soon love our lovely village as much as I do. Why don't you wander over to Old New Hanford and try to catch a fish in the lake or visit some of the shopping stores in Finchwick? Perhaps you'd be so daring as to do both. Ah, and if I could ask a personal favour, would you kindly talk to the grocery deliverer? We're close, but I've always found it difficult to talk about where our dreams differ. Is that not your son? I mean, like, I can, but I'm just a bit confused as why you're calling your son the grocery deliverer. Like... I mean, he is, but like, you'd probably just call him your son, but that's fine. Okay, what do we need to do for this then? <laughs> Catch a fish, browse the garden or grocery shop, ask the grocery deliverer about their dreams. Well, as we're here, let's just browse. Um, I don't know where the grocery deliverer is, if he's anywhere. Oh, he's over here. Let's ask him about his dreams. And um, as for the catching of fish, you know, we'll do it, but it is a bit strange for my vegetarian sim to want to do that, so perhaps we'll then put the fish in a fishbowl, whatever we end up catching, and keep it as a pet. <laughs> that is one other thing I want to do in this, other than, you know, gardening and stuff, is I want to have as many different pets as possible. So why not start with a fish? You want to know about my dreams? I suppose I've always let my mind wander with fantasies, fantasies about travel, adventure, and being somewhere other than the small village I grew up in. Oh, you know, you should probably just talk to your mum about that. Discuss grocery delivery's dreams with the mayor. If your communication issues are so severe that you're relying on strangers to sort them for you, that might be a problem. Discuss grocery deliverer's dreams. Well, I mean, nothing seemed to really come of that. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Let's go over to, I think it's the place we're living in. Go fishing and let's try and, you know, catch a, a new pen. Oh, she actually did catch something. Is that a bass? That's going to be a fun one to fit into a fishbowl, isn't it? Well then, I believe you've had a proper look at the local landscape. If you're wanting even more to do, might I suggest popping out to the Bramblewood? It's a bit of a trek, but the scenery is straight out of a fairy tale. Look for the creature keeper who lives out that way. They may have some errands to keep you busy. And don't forget to attend the, fish the Finchwick Fair on Saturdays. There's always various friendly competitions taking place where you can best your neighbours. It's judged by yours truly, so stay on my good side. See, we're just whizzing through these errands now. Let's actually go to the town square. We'll go to the town square and see if there's anybody else who wants to give us any errands. Preferably some easier ones. We may not get them done this episode because I am thinking I'm going to wrap up soon. But something to look forward to ne next episode that doesn't involve mushrooms. <laughs> We've done a couple of yours. We've done some of yours. Let's try and find someone we haven't done yet. Let's see what Agnes wants. Maybe we can just like wallop some people with a handbag for her. On her behalf. I'm down for that. Okay, you want, I guess, a pumpkin or something? And some gardening stuff. Okay. I think the chance to receive a berry or mushroom to plant. We're gonna go for that one. Lettuce wraps are the key to maintaining my fit figure. Bread be gone. To sustain this diet though, I need more lettuce. Bring me some so that I might plant even more of it in my garden. Is that all you want, lettuce? Harvest homegrown lettuce. We can do that. Um, I don't know what seeds we've got. But we'll open our seed packets. Um, and we have new things. We've got basil, green pea, carrot, bell pepper, taro root, sage, and spinach. <laughs> Not lettuce. Okay, <laughs> let's go home. I need to buy a fish bowl as well, else that fish is going to die. I completely forgot about it. Um, although I'm not sure that a fish bowl will be big enough, but we'll worry about that at a later date. Right, let's find a fish bowl and we'll just put it on the floor. I'm sure the foxes will leave it alone. Um, there we go. Yeah, you just shrink it, it's fine. Not really sure what else there is to do for today. I'm tired of looking for mushrooms. Honestly, a bit tired in general. Um, I think what I'm gonna quickly do, let's find that public toilet wherever it is. Right, let's have her use the bathroom. Um, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day on this episode. So if you are here, thank you for watching. 
feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you wanna, and I will see you soon.